What is going on everybody? This is Tejo and welcome back to the Lo-Fi Lounge. This video is meant to be like your blueprint, your ultimate guide, the things that you need to know and focus on and the direction you need to go if you do wanna start making your own music. Obviously, I'm not gonna teach you everything about learning music production in this video, but I will point you to all those specific resources that you can use to start making your own music and become an artist. Let's get right into it. One of the major reasons learning music production can seem really overwhelming is because if you have no prior musical knowledge, you're actually learning two huge things at the same time. You're learning the technical side, like how to use a DAW and how to use gear, but then you're also learning how to make music, the fundamentals of music and dare I say, music theory, which can sound scary to a lot of people. But I've actually created two series for beginners that can help make both of those things really easy. The number one is the music theory series for beginners, starting from zero. I've had so many people tell me they've tried to learn music theory so many times, and I can relate to them when they tell me that every teacher has made it so overly complicated. But this series actually helps people break through and start to learn how to put together chords and melodies and how the notes on a piano work. And then I've also got the Ableton Live for Beginner series. That's the DAW that I use, but it's a great introduction to the technical side of things. But don't get discouraged. Music theory fundamentals and the fundamentals of learning a DAW can seem overwhelming, but you can do it. It's just gonna take time. It is also, whether you're a beginner or not, really easy to get caught up in the idea of gear. But the caution I have for beginners is that since you don't have enough knowledge to understand how to solve all your problems, it's easy to think that just buying another piece of gear will solve whatever problem you're having. And sometimes that's true. Like if you wanna be able to record with a microphone, buying an audio interface is a good purchase. But then you end up in the rabbit hole, watching hours and hours of reviews, maybe even reviews on this channel, agonizing over what is the perfect gear. And what you need to embrace is that there really is no perfect gear. But don't get stuck in a loop and say, oh, well, this one does this one better and this one does that one better and which one should I get now? Sometimes it might come up to a coin toss. And other times you might have all of the gear that you actually need and you don't need to be searching uh, for gear reviews and you don't need to be browsing for something else to buy. You need to just be making music. I've got a really great minimalist bedroom setup explanation video that tells you not which gear to buy, but which pieces you might need for what purpose. Either you need something or you don't. And if you're not buying something out of need, then I guess you're just buying it out of pure passion and that's okay too. But just be honest with yourself about what's driving your decision to purchase more gear. There's no shortage of five minute, 10 minute, even 20 minute tutorials out there on the internet to show you how to do anything in music production, sidechain compression, mixing, EQ, all of this great stuff that you can learn. But none of those can teach you the actual process, what it actually means to be making music, releasing music, putting together albums, living in the music industry. And there's really no shortcut to learning that until you watch a producer that you love. If you watch their full process, I'm talking long form hours of them working on music so you can see the nitty gritty details of what they do, stuff that doesn't fit in these little snappy fast tutorials. If you wanna know my nitty gritty process and see how I actually work in Ableton Live outside of a short video, I do live stream weekly here on this channel and you can watch previous live streams, but I just think watching a raw process, watching somebody really work through issues and struggle is a lot more informative sometimes than a quick tutorial. And we're also fortunate enough to live in a time where some of the greatest producers of all time have sat down to do interviews, hours of interviews, talking about little anecdotes from their career. You should be consuming all of that. And not only that, sit there with a notebook and consume all of that, take notes. You do it with the math class and the history class that you don't care about. Why not do it with something that you actually care about? Learn from the masters through interviews or whatever they have out there. And there's no shortcut. You can't learn the process quick like that. There is, like I mentioned, a ton of content out there, but not all of it is actually gonna help you learn and not all of it has actually made to help you learn. Some of it is just meant to be entertainment. 
And it's important to make that distinction because if you, after you come home from work every day, only have an hour to go on YouTube and maybe learn a little bit more about this hobby, or whatever time you have to spend learning about how to make your own music, you want to make sure you're not getting sucked into a vortex of entertainment that kind of checked a box in your head that said, oh yeah, I watched some music production videos, that's enough for today. But what did you learn from those videos? And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with those videos. I like to sit down and watch some Netflix or watch some fun YouTube videos sometimes too, but I'm mindful while I'm doing that, that, hey, this is just entertainment. There's a reason some of those videos out there are edited an awful lot like Mr. Beast videos. And it's not because they're trying to teach you something, it's because they're trying to keep you watching, keep you sucked in. So just be mindful and just be cautious about that. The way you spend your time learning music production, if you did sit down to learn music production, make sure you're consuming something that's actually informative. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful, but don't forget, this video is just the beginning. This is just meant to be a blueprint. This is meant to be a compass to point you in the right direction. Links to all the resources that I mentioned are in the description down below. And if you do want to go a little bit deeper with a community of others that are trying to do the same thing as you, make their own music and release, consider joining the channel and becoming a member. It's a great way to support my channel and my work, but also connect with that broader community, get feedback on your music, see members only videos, get free sample packs. All that is available to you as a member on this channel. Check that out. Join button is down below. If not, just a subscribe and a like on your way out. It's really helpful. For now, that's going to be it. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Tatra. Have a good one.